Hello and welcome to Mathematics Online. In this video, I'm going to show you an interesting geometry problem with volume. To begin, let's start with a tetrahedron with a side length of 2, and we are going to take the midpoints of each edge. By connecting the midpoints, we create smaller tetrahedrons with a side length of 1. So there are exactly four smaller tetrahedrons, as you can see. Now, there's an empty space in the middle, and it actually forms the shape of an octahedron. We want to determine the volume of the octahedron because there is a nice relationship between the volume of the octahedron and the four tetrahedrons. So to begin, since the base of the octahedron is an equilateral triangle of side length 1, we can place a tetrahedron on the base. Notice that the top plane is formed by three tetrahedrons with the same height. If we move the top vertice of the tetrahedron to the corner, it will still maintain the same height. Since the base remains unchanged, by Cavallari's principle, it still has the same volume. We can start to see that two tetrahedrons would occupy half the space, and four tetrahedrons would fill the remaining space. So the volume of the four tetrahedrons is equal to the volume of the octahedron. Let's verify this using the formula for the volume of a tetrahedron. Since there are four tetrahedrons, we multiply the formula by four. After simplifying, we get that the volume is two divided by three times the square root of two. If we take the larger tetrahedron with a side length of two, and subtract the volume of the four smaller tetrahedrons, we can verify the volume of the octahedron. So if we substitute 2 into the formula and simplify, we can see that the volume of the octahedron is also equal to 2 over 3 times the square root of 2. So if you have noticed, many of my videos are about shapes, area, and volumes. I want you to comment about a geometry problem where you think animated visuals would really help understanding, because this is what my channel is really about. So as always, thank you for watching.